Hi, I'm Tiziana Rivera, Chief Nursing Executive and Associate Vice President for Quality at Osler. I'm here at Brampton Civic where I'm going to be speaking with Kim Sharman about a very important topic, patient safety. At Osler, we're committed to providing safe, quality care every time. This commitment is why we're participating in Accreditation 2020 and we continue to raise our standards to support practice and minimize risk and prevent harm. In August, we asked each of you to participate in a patient safety culture survey. You answered our call in record numbers with a 200% increase from the last survey in 2015. The results are in and I've asked Kim, the leader of a, a unit with high participation rates, to join me to talk about a couple of these results. Hi Kim. Hi Tiziana. Nice to see you nice again. To see you. Thanks for meeting with me today. I'm going to read a statement to you and I'd like you to tell me whether or not the um, statement is an area for improvement at ULCER or whether or not this is a strength. Others make you feel like a failure when you make an error. I think this is an area for improvement within the hospital. Absolutely, and we're committed to uh, moving the metric on that particular indicator. So one of the ways we want to do that is by promoting a just culture related to patient safety. So as a manager, can you tell me what that means for you? Uh, just culture um, means not putting blame on the individual, but looking at the whole system to see where we can make improvements. Um, if I point out a potentially serious patient safety incident, management will look into it. I think this is an area of strength for Osler. Correct. Could you give me uh, a, an example of that in the ICU? Absolutely. So in the ICU, we have concentrated electrolytes. So we had a patient incident with the concentrated electrolytes. And so through our quality review, we were able to identify that we need to alert uh, the staff that this is a high risk medication. So when a nurse puts into the um, automated, automated dispensing unit to remove the medication, um, it alerts her this is a high risk medication as well as there's a sticker that says high alert and that there's an independent double check required for this medication. Excellent, and that is a perfect example of what you talked about before around a just culture, that we're looking at it from a systems perspective and how do we support clinicians to be able to provide uh, the best medication at the best time for the right patient and putting in all of those systems in place so that it's correct and we do not uh, cause patient harm. So thank you for sharing that. You're